Welcome back. Here we go again. Great to see you, and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you will never forget what is going on in the world when you think about when your child is born. You will know for the yeah. rest of this child's life, you were born during a weird time. That's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. The, probably the weirdest that I can remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and he was born on uh, May the 4th. And uh, that's hilarious, too. Yeah. He May the 4th be with yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. It has to be. I, ho hope so. I sure hope so. Perfect. Yes. I mean, that was the perfect day for you. I'm, and yeah. then, what, how do you say the name? <laughs> Well, uh, is it a placeholder? And first of all, my partner is the one that uh, actually mostly came up with the name. Congratulations to her. Yeah, yeah, she's great at names. Um, so, I mean, it's just X, the letter X, um, and then the A E is like pronounced Ash. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, A twelve. A twelve is my contribution. Oh, why A twelve? Uh, Archangel 12, the precursor to the SR-71, coolest plane ever. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I agree with you. I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. I know what, what? the SR-71 is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what that is. But... So the SR-71 came from a CIA program uh, called uh, called Archangel. Oh. It's the Archangel Project. Oh. Um, and then Archangel 12. Oh, wow. What a dope looking plane. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Well, as a person who's uh, very much into uh, aerial travel, as you are. That's uh, perfect. It's pretty great. Yeah, pretty great. Um, so, is it? Uh, does it feel strange to have a child while all this craziness is going? Does it feel like you've had children before? Is this any weirder? Uh, it's actually, I think it's better uh, being older and having a kid. I appreciate it more. Mm. Yeah, um, kid, babies are awesome. They are pretty awesome. They are awesome. Yeah. Um, when I didn't, when I didn't have my, any of my own. I would see other people's kids, and I didn't not like them. Sure. But I wasn't drawn to them. Sure. But now when I see little people's kids, I'm like, oh, I think of them like these little love packages. Yeah, the little love bugs. Yeah. It's just you th You think of them differently when you see them come out and then grow and then eventually start talking to you. Like your whole idea what a baby is is very different. Yeah. So now as you you know get older and get to appreciate it as a mature, fully formed adult, it must be really pretty wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, it's great. But babies are awesome. They uh, are. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's great. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, also, I've, I've I've spent a lot of time on AI and neural nets, and so you can sort of see the kind of the brain develop, which is you know what an, an AI neural neural net is trying to simulate what a brain does, basically. Um, and you can sort of see the it it learning very quickly. Uh, you know, it's just wow. See things fire. So you're talking about the neural net. You're not talking about an actual baby. I'm talking about actually an actual baby. But both of them. Yes, but I, the word neural net comes from the the brain. It's like a net of neurons. So you know, it's like the yeah, humans are the you know original gangster neural net. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Yeah. So when you are programming artificial intelligence, or when you're working with artificial intelligence, art. Are they specifically trying to mimic the developmental process of a human brain? In a lot of ways. There's some ways that are different. Um, you know, an, an analogy that's often used is like, you know, we, we don't make a submarine swim like a fish. Mm. Uh, but we take the principles of, of how, you know, what, what it, of hydrodynamics and apply them to a submarine. I've always wondered, as a layperson, do you try to achieve the same results as a human brain, but through different methods, or do you try to copy the way a human brain achieves results? I mean, the, the essential elements of an AI neural net are really very, very similar to a human brain neural net. Yeah, it's having the, the multiple layers of neurons and. Um, you know, backpropagation. These all these things are what your brain does. You know, it's sort of, yeah. Um, you have you have a layer of neurons that goes through a series of intermediate steps to ultimately cognition, and then and then it'll re reverse those steps and go back and forth and go all over the place. Um, it's um, yeah, it's it's interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I would imagine. Like the thought of programming something that is eventually going to be smarter than us, 
that one day it's going to be like, why did you do it that way? Like when, when artificial intelligence becomes sentient, they're like, oh, you tried to mimic yourself. Like this so much better process. Cut out all this nonsense. But like I said, there are elements that are the same, but just like, almost like, like an aircraft does not fly like a bird. Right. Yeah, it doesn't flap its wings. Uh, but the wings, the way the wings work and generate lift is the same as bird.